right, let's check out the to-go box. So this is my cargo camper conversion. Uh, this is a six by 10 Vinos Pace American trailer. Uh, it's about two years old now that we've had it. Um, Vinos up front. There's an empty battery box. I don't actually use that battery box, but I had it installed when I ordered the trailer. On the outside, you can see that we have an awning. This is actually pulled off an overlanding rig. So these have steel, steel arms on them. So they fold out in a good canvas, super stout, super strong. I had, uh, had this fabricated up. So there's these metal beams here on the outside and on the inside. So they sandwich together. Yeah, I said sandwich. They sandwich together. Um, so it holds it up, it's really strong. We've had it for a couple of years and it's done really well. Um, so let's go inside. Welcome to the interior of the to-go box. <clears throat> so in the front, this is one of the first areas I worked on. I built a little countertop here um, into the Vinos. I felt like utilizing that space as like our kitchen counter catch-all kind of place. You have the garbage on the front side there, fire extinguisher. Oops, I'm popular. A uh, little bit of a little porta potty. I got a fan. Uh, we have a three kilowatt. Uh, diesel parking heater so I actually use kerosene when I burn this but um, this thing pumps out a ridiculous amount of heat so it keeps us very very warm in the very very cold um, I have my battery down here below that 125 amp hour AGM battery and I have a 1500 watt pure sign inverter um, that's all being charged and powered by uh, my Renogy Rover charge controller uh, this is a 40 amp hour or 40, 40 amp MPPT charge controller, excuse me. Um, I have 200 watts of solar on the roof of the trailer and that powers up everything. That gives us enough juice to power a 12 cup coffee pot. Um, every morning when we wake up camping, we're, we're big coffee drinkers and quite honestly, the size of the battery and the solar and the whole thing was to power that little coffee pot right there. So our overall goal with our build was to be super quick, super efficient, and to be able to go. Um, it's very comfortable. We've been rained out in this thing many, many times and very glad that we've built it the way we did. Um, other people spend a lot of time building their cabinets, making it look like a beautiful home. I love you. I appreciate you. That wasn't my goal. Um, some other fun things we've done up here. When you walk in, we use, uh, these are just shower organizers, excuse me shower organizers we use them as catch-alls so we have one here at the door and then one over here uh, in the kitchen area easy little racks i just used washers and drilled them in um you'll see i have e-track system oddly up here in the vinos originally when we built this uh we were using hammocks we were hanging hammocks in a v-birth situation um and sleeping in there but after like 10 days on the road that got a little uh a little annoying so backed out of that and you'll see what we did in just a second when we pan. Um, one of my latest additions has been this rack. Uh, actually, what we do is we use six of these plastic bins. Um, I have them inside my house right now, but they slide in and then they're held in place with these bungees. We use those to store all of our clothes uh, when we're traveling. So we take the bins inside, load them up, bring them out, put them in there. We don't have bags sitting on the floor. Um, we're utilizing our vertical space here. And then just a couple of random things up top here. Um, I don't have a TV in here, but what I do bring along is a tablet and I've got this really handy dandy long reaching uh, holder and I put the tablet in there, hook it up to the Bluetooth speaker and if we're rained out, we'll watch an episode of something that we downloaded. Moving on to the back, you can see, whoa, sorry, um, we did peel and stick vinyl flooring. Uh, it gives it a wood look. I'm not super happy with it. It's kind of uh, split a little part over the, the last two years, but whatever. It's a cargo trailer. It's intended to get used, not to be perfect. Um, this is our bed. So this is a, uh, a full-size bed when we pull it out, but it's currently in couch mode. Um, underneath, you'll see I have it slatted. So this slides out all the way out and then becomes a bed. I might show you that in just a second. So that's our bed. These are um, 
28 inch wide cushions. So when they're down, it's 56 or 57, something like that. We're exactly a full size bed when we have this down. So for one person on that one, one person on that one, very comfortable. Um, underneath the bed, I have all my storage. So I've got some chairs underneath here. I've got a couple of sleeping bags. Um, this has been my most recent addition, which is a 50 liter Mossimo e-cooler. I uh, got to pick that up from Costco. I put that on sliders. Um, it's pretty efficient. We just dig right into it when we need to. Um, and uh, it's nice and cold. It's been running for about a day or so. It's sitting at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's nice, use it a few times and pretty excited about it. Um, all of my camping gear are in bins back here. So I have a Coleman stove tucked in there. All my pots, my pans, my dishes, all my organization stuff's all organized in this region. Um, underneath, I've got my spare tire there. And then there is a little wood plank thing. We put that on the ground for when we use our pop-up tent or a pop-up shower or toilet room. Uh, that's in there as well. One of my clutch little things here is, uh, maybe you can see that there. That's a three gallon yard sprayer. What I did is I spray painted it flat black and added a kitchen sink nozzle. Um, maybe you can see that. A kitchen sink nozzle to it. So what we do is we fill that with water, set it out in the sun, we lay it down so it's shallow. We lay it down in the sun and then we uh, let it heat up all day. And then when we get home from hikes and adventures, we pump it up full of air and then we uh, take a nice warm shower. It's actually worked pretty well. Very happy with that. That was a, a cool trick I found on YouTube. Um, the other thing we have here is a little pop-up table. So I used little brackets, just swings up. Just a simple piece of wood I got at uh, Lowe's. Then I just threw some stain on it, finished with a urethane so we can beat it up some. Um, plenty of space for us to have one chair right in front of it and one chair on the other side and then still someone can squeeze by so we've used that when we're getting rained on we'll play cribbage we'll eat our meals there we'll do whatever another smart little move we had just rv cup holders they're plastic they're small they tuck away but it's nice to be able to tuck your phone onto something um stash it away if you need we bought the trailer installed we bought it with a window installed rather um, I think that was a good move since we ordered this new from the factory. Had that done before. Carbon monoxide detector, always important. And this one happens to have a temperature. So it's currently 78 in here. Uh, beautiful day. Uh, just some extra hooks. Got those from Ikea. Broke one of them. They're cheap. They are what they are. Camping bags are tucked there. All my bungee cords. And then I have a little shelf let me see if i can get a light on it maybe that helps i don't know maybe it didn't there's a little shelf up here um it's really small it connects into the e-track system no, using a, a two by two and a two by four to build a shelf and i just tuck away some extra uh pillows blankets little stuff up there it's pretty strong but it's nice to just keep it out of the way um what else there's led lighting i did this early i regret it because i used all these 3M little squares to keep the light up there. And now I don't use that. And now I need to take a razor blade and some goof off to get all of those off all the way around. So that was dumb. Uh, learning lesson. What I did do is I switched to these LED lights. They run on the uh, 12 volt. So there's a uh, remote for those. I can change the colors. I can change the brightness. I can make them dance. I can do all sorts of stuff. It's kind of fun. Uh, at night I try to use like late at night I'll use it as red, um, more tactical. Don't bleach out your retinas, keep your night vision. Um, that is a quick high level overview of the cargo trailer. Um, again, this is a six by 10 Vino's Pace American cargo trailer. We built it to just go, go far, go fast, go now. Um, it's not supposed to be a little home on wheels, but it is extremely comfortable. Uh, I have bug nets on the back doors, bug nets on the front doors. Because of that, then I can just leave this thing wide open and just get a nice cross breeze. I can run a fan um, all day, all night, no big deal. So lots of air and all that. So yeah, this is the cargo trailer. Any questions, let me know. See you in the comments.